Hi guys and welcome back to Guitar by Emily. Today we've got another concert vlog. I'm so excited about this one. Today we're going to be talking about the Rick Springfield and Aria Speedwagon concert that I just went to. Before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you leave me a comment. What's your favorite concert you've been to? Have you seen Rick or Aria Speedwagon? And I'd love to know what you thought about it. Let's get into it. Hello vlog, today is the Rick Springfield and RU Speedwagon concert. Unfortunately right now I'm not leaving for the concert, I've got to go to class first, so it's currently 8.02 and I'm leaving for class. I'm going to go knock that out, get some English done, and come back and I'm leaving to go see Rick Springfield. I'm so excited, so we got to get this done first and then we can come back and leave for the show. Hey, so I got to school about a half hour early. I don't really know how that happened. Uh, sometimes it just doesn't take as long to get here, depending on traffic. But uh, I thought I'd talk to you guys about the concert for a little bit instead of sitting at my desk later and talking about it. So today is the actual day of the concert, so I thought we could chat for a minute while I'm sitting in my car. I don't feel like going in there yet to go to class. So uh, yeah, Rick Springfield, Ario Speedwagon, a little bit of backstory here. So I love Rick Springfield. I have for a long time. Uh, he's probably one of my favorite, he might be my favorite like 80s pop singer because he's not like 80s hair metal or anything like that, but it's kind of like 80s pop rock. So I really, really like Rick Springfield. He has a lot of good music and I've always enjoyed listening to him. So my dad saw that he was going to be coming around our area and I didn't know at the time that he was like opening for REO Speedwagon. So as far as that band, they're not my favorite. Um... I don't dislike them. They're obviously very popular, but there's probably only a few songs of theirs that I would listen to on my own, but I'm sure it'll still be a really fun time. But I'm going to see Rick Springfield. That is, I guess, the main uh, goal for me is to go get to watch Rick Springfield, and I'm so excited about that. So the REO Speedwagon is just a little bit of a bonus. Um, my grandma really, really likes Rick Springfield as well. I think she watched him on General Hospital, so she, she definitely likes him. <laughs> she tells me about that a lot. But anyway, so originally I wanted her to come and come with me and do the meet and greet, and I thought that would be so much fun, but she's really not able to make a trip like that right now. So she told me to get the meet and greet, go see Rick, and to tell him that my grandma loves him. <laughs> that is so hilarious to me, but I'm gonna do it. So to honor her wishes, I'm going to do, I signed up for the meet and greet to go meet Rick. I'm so excited. I've heard that his meet and greets are kind of a little more interactive than some other ones. He likes to spend a lot of time with people um, and get to talk to them. And he's gonna sign two things and obviously get some pictures. Hopefully I can vlog in there. Some times stuff like that people don't like videos going on but I'm gonna try to film I hate filming in public <laughs> but I gotta do it for you guys to get the content so you guys can see this full experience and everything so hopefully once I get in there I can uh, vlog me talking to Rick a little bit and obviously get some pictures and I'm gonna try to get something for my grandma signed and bring that back to her she doesn't know about that so I'm um, hoping to surprise her and I'm really excited so excited so i'll be getting out of class around 11 45 and then coming home and leaving it's about a two hour drive seems like every concert i go to it's never like really close i gotta drive for it so i'm excited i think it's gonna be a fun trip i like little road trips like this and then get ready for the concert at the hotel and then meet and greet starts about an hour before the show so I cannot wait I'm gonna try to get more content for you guys of me talking during the trip usually I'm too nervous and socially awkward to film in public so I typically don't get a lot of footage for you guys but I want this vlog to be really fun so hopefully I can uh, get a little more content and yeah that's the backstory on the concert I'm excited to go and that's about all I have to say right now. Bye! Alright 
right guys so i recorded a little clip here of me getting ready and i thought that i would include just a mini tutorial for the girls who want to know how i fix my hair so if you want your hair to look like cindy crawford or one of the 80s supermodels then follow this tutorial go ahead and grab a curling iron and section off the top half of your hair curl it backwards and then you're going to put it in one of these velcro rollers so you can see what i'm doing here i'm grabbing a section straight across the top of my head and i'm curling it and i'm rolling it backwards and pinning it in place this is so simple guys seriously i mean if you want a better tutorial if this is something you're really interested in i could totally make a reel for you guys because i know some of you have asked in the past how i do my hair but this is a little simple tutorial for you and then here for these side pieces i just curl away from my face and then wrap that up in a jumbo roller the key to getting the really big 80s 90s supermodel hair is putting it in the rollers so make sure you're doing that make sure you're using a lot of hairspray and I also like to go in with a little bit of dry shampoo and heat protectant before I use the curler and that helps these curls set a little bit better. Now, if your hair is a different length than mine, it may not work out the same, but there's a couple tips. And there is the reveal once I take it out of the rollers. Love it. So first off, I did do the meet and greet experience. Um, you're gonna hear about that, I'm sure. But one thing about that that I did wanna bring up, I don't wanna like be negative about an experience because I know people are busy. I know there's a lot going on at a concert. So I know not everything's gonna be perfect, but there was some things going on there that I would like to talk about. So we go back, um, I did the meet and greet by myself and I'm in the line of people to go back to do it. I'm so excited. Everyone's being really nice. Everyone's just kind of chatting. I was like the youngest person in the group. But anyways, we go into the room and Rick comes in and everyone is so excited. And the guy that was like the security kind of running the meet and greet. Now, I'm not gonna throw anyone under the bus. I don't know if it was the events employee or if it was with Rick's staff. But this guy was not being extremely personable and nice to the uh, people that paid for the experience. Rick was being extremely nice. He was trying to kind of talk to people and, uh, you know, really make everyone feel appreciated. But this guy was really rushing us. And I get we're on a time schedule. We got to get everyone through and get this thing done. But it was not very nice. It was definitely rude. And... Uh, the thing that I was really upset about is, okay, we go through and we get our stuff signed. I got something signed for my grandma and something signed for me, which Rick was awesome. Again, I love meeting him. But we are going back through the line to get our picture taken. And as we're getting closer up, I ask the uh, employee that I've been discussing here um, if I could go ahead and take a selfie with Rick in just like a normal photo of both of us. I said, I'm a content creator. I'd really like to get a selfie with Rick for my Instagram. And he said, um, it's one or the other. You can only get one photo. And he said it to me just like that, which I was kind of taken aback by, which again, I totally understand policies and things like that. But in the description of the meet and greet, it says, get your photos with Rick. That's plural. Just saying, just saying guys. <laughs> So, and also uh, the reason why I am a little bit upset about it is other people were getting multiple photos with him doing different poses, taking photos with groups and individuals. And when I got up there and I was told you're getting one photo, it was just a little bit disappointing because it wasn't the cheapest meet and greet that I've been involved in. It was a little bit pricey and it was just a little bit disappointing because when you do travel a long way and spend money on something, you want to get your money's worth. And I don't have a problem with Rick Springfield or I don't even know whose staff it was. I think it was just a person who was waiting for their shift to be over and they were not in a good mood. And I know that we all get like that, but it was a little bit disappointing that situation there. We were kind of rushed and uh, the meet and greet didn't last very long, especially for how much it was. It was more than other meet and greets. So again, I don't want to complain about a great experience, but that is something I thought I would mention because it was part of it. So after that, got back to my seat, I got my picture with Rick and I had my signed stuff, so I was happy. <laughs> and she's watching with those eyes. 
And she's loving with that body, I just know it And he's holding her in his arms late, late at night The charade There doesn't seem to be a reason to change You know I feel so dirty when they start talking cute I wanna tell her that I love her but the point is probably moot Cause she's watching him with those eyes And she's loving him with that body I just know it And he's holding her in his arms late late at night Cool, sure. Thank you. After that, it was pretty much just time for the concert to start. I did snag this t-shirt, you can see it here, Rick Springfield, and it does have a graphic on the back. You guys cannot see that, I know you can't, but it's a cool t-shirt and I got it. So I think it says don't talk to strangers, like 1980 something tour. <laughs> so yeah, cool shirt, I'm happy I got this. To talk about the Rick Springfield concert before I show you the footage. Um, I would like to say I wasn't the biggest fan of the set list and I'm not usually again one to complain about stuff but um, I realized that he has new music out and I, I get that you would play some of those songs but I feel like he could have included a few more of the classic songs in there instead of the newer ones. Uh, so there were some songs that I didn't know and so it was kind of awkward just like sitting there like um I don't really know this song and I don't really know if I like it so um, but it was fine it was still great the guitar playing was great Rick was great at singing obviously um, well, another thing is he kind of changed like the rhythm and the timing of some of the songs um, so it made it hard to sing along I would have preferred that he just kind of kept with the original vibe with the song so that everyone could you know sing along but you know he's an artist so I guess people do that so um I really don't have a lot of complaints it, he obviously did a good job but I guess those are the things that I would mention
Uh, my favorite part of Rick's show was when he came out uh, for the encore to do Jesse's Girl, and you're gonna hear it in the clip, but it was absolutely hilarious when he came back out because he was wearing like a suit shirt and a tie all evening and he came back out with no shirt on and his electric guitar and i'm just saying i don't know many 74 year old men who could walk into a stadium with no shirt on and an electric guitar on and every girl in the place lose their mind i'm i'm gonna leave it at that i'm just saying every girl in that place started screaming and it was so hilarious. So yeah, hand, hand it to Rick Springfield for that because he is not aging. It is, it is crazy. It's like him and Tom Cruise are taking the same thing because they do not look as old as they are. After Rick Springfield, it was time for REO Speedwagon. Um, I have not listened to a ton of REO Speedwagon. Of course, I know the classic songs. I probably knew about five or six of them, but there were some other songs on their set that I didn't know, but I really enjoyed them. Their guitar player was crazy. Guys, he did so good. And I would like to say about them, their sound quality and their mix of everything was insane. Like, it sounded so good. It was extremely loud and the bass was still like really, really there, but you could pick out each instrument. So, you know, when you're like at a concert and it's so loud that you can't hear anything or can't pick out like the guitar, it's just like so loud and you can't understand the vocals. Well, this was not like this. This was perfectly mixed. It just sounded like loud music, but you could hear the vocals, you could hear the lyrics, you could hear that guitar, the keyboards perfect so i was impressed it sounded good those guys just acted like straight up professionals up there and they are i mean they've been at this forever but they were so polished and they were seriously just up there to have fun and to you know hang out with everyone so i enjoyed the reo speedwagon show more than i thought i would <laughs>
show was great. Everything about it was awesome. Again, there's a few things that maybe I would have changed if I could, but where are you gonna go that there's not something to complain about? You just gotta focus on the good things and I think it was a really good show. Different, like I said, than other concerts I've been to. Uh, first concert that I wasn't standing up the whole time. First concert that I didn't know every song on the set. Uh, so that, that was weird. Um, but it was still a great time. I really liked the venue. I don't even think I mentioned it, but it was in Charleston, West Virginia. Um, worst driving conditions I've ever been involved in. Just letting you know, if you're going to West Virginia, no one can drive there. No offense to anyone from West Virginia, but I think y'all would have to agree with me. The roads are scary down there. <laughs> so I guess that was a little bit of some, uh, an experience while I was there, but we survived. So I guess that's all that matters. <laughs> enjoyed today's vlog. I tried to get some good video shots. Uh, sometimes these videos aren't the most organized because I'm just filming random things and trying to sit back at my desk after it's all over and discuss it all, but hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it all came together well. Again, make sure you like and subscribe, leave me a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!